Uh, let's talk now about Lizzie. Now, if you're of the older persuasion, you may not have heard of her, but she's a rather big pop star uh, in the popular music charts. Lizzie, I have to say, got her on all of my uh, Spotify playlists. Uh, but she is uh, being, uh, she's a very big character. She's performed at the Brits and doing very well. Massive big hit tour. And uh, she's being celebrated for, well, her body confidence. She is a rather larger lady and it's all about the body confidence and it's all about celebrating uh, that body confidence and uh, also about being really a very fantastic performer and singer however she's now going to be rather more known i fear uh, for allegations being made by three of her former dancers claims that uh, include sexual harassment creating a hostile work environment and ironically given the page that she and all of her dancers are, are very much larger ladies um very much larger uh, that uh, that she's been accused of fat shaming them well uh, joining us to discuss all of this is assistant showbiz editor at the sun amanda devlin good morning to you good morning last time i saw you drink had been involved after it was an award <laughs> one so it's lovely to see you sober me sober me see yeah. you and uh, that sounded wrong that sounded no wrong. i think it was in quite no correct, way actually. in no way am i cast aspersions <laughs> on amanda sobriety I'm passing aspersions on my own. Um, <laughs> Amanda, I like Lizzo. Um, I think yeah. she's fantastic. Every yeah. time one of her tunes comes on, I have to sing along, get mm -hmm. up and boogie. Um, <laughs> but she's also one of those characters that's all about oh, life-affirming, wonderful, bigger women celebrating, mm -hmm. end the fat, shaming, all of this. Yeah. Uh, turns out, not so nice behind the scenes if these allegations are to be believed. It's just time and time again yeah. that it, we've got these people who are the, the ones that shout the loudest. Yeah. They're the ones who are saying, you know, you've got to be kind, be positive about your body I mean you you said there in the intro that they are um, bigger dancers I mean that's what it, they're kind of known for her uh, her entourage her her backing dancers are all you know over, like overweight um, no no they're not overweight I mean they've got the BMI is probably about third I mean they are huge no, no, I'm, things no, are not. It's okay, true. I'm no, making it's a statement of yeah. fact. Same fact. These ladies are, I mean, these are, be, they're, they're size 24 they plus. They must be fit to be dancing around. Yeah, they I do have those, no idea. Yeah. I couldn't do it. I mean, I look at them and I think, wow. You no, know, but they, 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 they have, they, they can be whatever weight they yeah. want. I'm all in favour. Do what you want. They are, they are incredibly overweight. Yeah. I would say unhealthily overweight. They are obese women. Of course. And it's, that's they're the entitled to be obese. That's not my business. But they're and, and, I'm, and I'm not shaming them. I'm simply saying it is a fact. But when she is herself, and now she's accused of fat shaming. That's what them. I don't understand. When I, the story came out, one I was really disappointed because I think she does seem this really bubbly, fun character. Um, she likes to play up her kind of diva role on stage. But little mm. did we know that it was actually happening behind the scenes. And then I, I was confused about the fat shaming thing because I thought, well, you know, she's obese. And then she's talking Unless, about yes, other use people. The right words. Yeah. And then she's and then she's looking and she's sort of taking aim at other people who'd put what on. What sort of thing is she, is she accused of? So she's been um she's been put, she said that there were stances who were putting on weight um <laughs> while they were on tour and she wasn't happy about it. They've all, there's also an incident How about How did she put gone, on weight on tour when you were doing this? I mean, they're, they're, I mean they are very, yeah. very physical on stage. I know. And they, they're incredible. I mean, if you've seen Lizzo, she performed at the, the Brits earlier yeah. in the year and she's an incredible performer and her whole dance group they just look fantastic it is very no, different no, no i'm no <laughs> no i'm gonna say it i'm sorry feel free to write in and complain i find her and her friend her singers uh, her dancers bodies physically repulsive okay. i don't like i don't like the championing <laughs> and i don't like the the celebration of obesity yeah. I, I people are entitled to no, be whatever I, I way they want i don't think we should tell young women as all the adverts do now that being obese is great it's mm. not it's bad for your health you will live a shorter time you're going to be more susceptible to heart disease to cancer and pretty much every other disease going mm. it is not a good thing i don't want to shame you for it i wouldn't point at you or shout in the street it's your business do what you want yeah but we shouldn't be so there's a difference between bullying people because of their weight absolutely not and people celebrating people say it's a great thing to be morbidly yeah. obese it's, it's not, not a great no, thing it's, absolutely it's a not. very difficult but there is, thing but, for people but this is even though we say that all the time and i think the majority of people do there is this part of the industry now which wants to be everything's got to be inclusive so yeah. they do have these answers yeah. and they are very good at what they do but it's their category yeah and that's what i'm saying they're very good I at what they do in their category i think no i think she's brilliantly talented full yeah. stop candace now you're young <laughs> Kelly Sosa. Young um, ish. Young ish. <laughs> You've got two kids. I don't know when you get to do these things. I mean, look, you've seen Lizzo perform, uh, listen to her. I mean, this is a classic example, though, as, as, as Amanda points out, of people 
characters in in the, the, the showbiz world where they've got a persona and everything's wonderful and lovely and, and, and body positive and all that mm -hmm. and actually behind the scenes if these allegations are true yeah um we don't know whether they are or not but three people made them others dancers have come forward and said that it tallies with what their experiences were um not quite the same behind the scenes no and that's the entertainment industry people will have this image and then when you actually meet the real person you get a huge shock <laughs> but i think it's such a good point about the body positivity movement because yeah. absolutely you do not shame people for being overweight but at or the same underweight. time what do you think? it's like your body yes. you do what you want but at the same time you know you have to be realistic about what the health implications of being obese and they are serious and you know we can't gloss over that we've got to be real about um, and, it and at the same time the people who are saying oh body positive and you, you'll see it in the mail online the worst for this you know when they go oh, she flaunts her curves she just <laughs> and then they'll talk about oh, isn't this terrible someone's anorexic women are always being told what their body should look like but there is nevertheless a pretty wide band of healthy bodies from you know slim to to not slim mm. but but it definitely doesn't include obese but there is more to this story than just the fat shaming so yeah. there's also an incident of that they were at a strip club she's with all of her dancers and she was allegedly sort of making them do things that they didn't want to do with the dancers involving um, bananas as, involving and orifices sex, shall we leave it at that toys, but yes it was and so hello if you're explaining of, that to your children right now on summer holiday it's of, <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's a lot of um yeah there's a there's a lot of description when you're reading up about it but they've gone into a lot of detail and this could be i mean this could be very damaging mm. for her, but that again course, and again yeah. we hear bad boy stuff about boys i wonder if the the uh i suppose the expectations are always higher of the people who again who who flaunt the idea that i'm a really nice person yeah don't throw stones at glass houses and i feel as if she's just going on about everyone else has got to be kind but she's not following up apparently is not following well, she, her, again, her these, own these are these are allegations i mean you know i, I do wonder and it's though. already out there i mean and yeah. they're being sued i know in america they do like to sue people so it's yeah. it's you know that's it might it might not come well to i'll anything. probably get sued for fat shaming now i'm not shaming yeah. anybody i'm just saying that we should also state medical facts shouldn't we of course. Um, pleasure to yeah. see you again amanda Devin from the sun and also candace holsworth thank you very much for yeah. joining us we're all just young and hip we all know who lizzo is because that's we are we are young and hip. even though i'm in my 50s and apparently you need to go out and get a job delivering takeaways uh, to make people even fatter <laughs> we bring all the stories together do get in touch about the jobs you would or wouldn't do to make ends meet this is talk breakfast